tired of sending appointment emails and reminders manually? What if your tools could talk to each other and automatically send confirmations to attendees and updates to your team on Slack? In this video, I will show you how to set up a Zapier workflow that automatically confirms bookings and sends reminders to attendees and your team. By the end of this tutorial, you will have an automated system that saves you time, reduces errors, and keeps everyone on the same page. Before we dive in, let's break down the workflow we will be setting up. The trigger for our automation is when a new event is booked in Canadany. This is the starting point where everything kicks off. The first action will be sending a confirmation email to the attendee to ensure they have all the event details at their fingertips. And for the second action, we will notify the host or team in Slack so everyone stays in the loop about the booking. Then we will add another action to send a reminder email or Slack message before the appointment. With just a few simple steps, you will have an efficient, hands free system that works perfectly behind the scenes. So let's get started and set up the trigger event. First, log into your Zapier account or go to zapier.com to create an account. On your dashboard, click the Create button and choose Zaps to start building your automation. And then click the Trigger section and select Canada as your trigger app. This is the app that will initiate the workflow whenever a new event occurs. After selecting Canada, choose Invite Created as the trigger event. This ensures that your Zap will activate whenever someone books a new appointment through Canada. Then, connect your Calendly account with Zapier, if you haven't done so already. And Zapier will guide you to an authorization process. Once connected, click Continue. Then, Zapier will ask you to set up the trigger by selecting specific subscription scope based on your needs. For example, the user subscription uh, scope only triggers the webhook for subscribed events that belong to a specific user. And the organization subscription scope triggers the webhook for all subscribed events within the organization. I will keep the organization option. Once you've made your selection, click continue. Now it's time to test the trigger to ensure Zapier can successfully retrieve event details. Open your calendar link in another tab and book a sample appointment as if you were a customer. Let me quickly fill in the required fields. The name and email. and complete the booking process. Once it's done, let's return to Zapier and click the uh, test trigger button. If the setup is correct, Zapier will pull in the details of your test appointment. You will see a preview of the event data, including fields like attendees' email, name, and other details. Take some time to review the information to confirm it matches your test uh, booking data. If everything looks good, your trigger is now fully configured and we are ready to move on to setting up the first action, which is sending a confirmation email. To start, click this Add Action button or the Continue button here to set up the first action. Click the Action section and select your email provider such as Gmail or Outlook as the app for the action. I will select Gmail as an example. Once selected, choose the action event Send the Email. This will allow Zapier to send a personalized confirmation email to the attendee when they book the appointment. Then click here to connect your email account if you haven't done so already. Once connected, click continue to move to the customization step. Here you will see several fields to configure your email. Start with the true field. Click the plus icon to map the attendee's email address from the Canada trigger data. This ensures the confirmation email goes to the correct recipient. Next, move to the subject field. For example, you might use your appointment confirmation with your company name, and I will use Optivize AI as an example. And in the email body section, you can craft a personalized message, message using dynamic placeholder to insert the important details. And I've created a sample email. Let me paste it here. Let's use the drop-down fields to map data from Canada. The attendee's name will be mapped to the name field from Canada. And the point time will be mapped to the schedule time. And map the location to the event location field. Let me check if it got the physical address for this event I created. And great, everything is correct. 
If it's an online event, you can paste your Zoom link here or map the video link from your calendar if you've connected one. And you can attach documents here as well. Basically, you can customize this email however you want because most of the features inside the Gmail are available here inside the Zapier. Once you've completed the customization, you click Continue to test the action. Then Zapier will generate a sample email based on the details from your test trigger. Review the preview carefully to ensure all placeholders populate correctly, and the email appears as intended. And then click the Test Step button to send the sample email to the test attendee email address, and open the email inbox associated with the test attendee, and verify that the confirmation email arrived with all the correct information. Alright, if everything looks good, then congratulations! The confirmation email action is not set up and working. Next, we will add a Slack notification to notify the host or team about the new appointment. Let's click this plus icon again to add a new action, and choose Slack as an app for this action. Once selected, choose the action event send channel message. This will allow the workflow to send a notification message to a specific Slack channel wherever a new event is booked. Next, connect your Slack workspace to uh, Zapier. If this is your first time, Zapier will prompt you to log into your Slack and authorize the access to Zapier. Make sure to review and approve the permissions Zapier requests to send a message on your behalf. Once connected, click Continue to proceed with setting up the message. Now, let's configure the Slack message. Select the Slack channel where you want the notification to be posted. I will choose the Client Appointments channel, which I created for this live demo. In the message text field, draft a notification content using uh, dynamic placeholders from the calendar trigger. And I, I will paste an example message here. Then let's map the data from a calendar trigger, such as attendee's name, email address, appointment time, invited time zone, and location. This ensures your Slack notification contains all the relevant information your team needs. You can also specify whether the message should appear as the Zapier bot or another user in Slack, and scroll down to additional options. There are some customizations you can make to this Slack message, such as attach image by URL, and auto-expand links. Then, let's click Continue to proceed to the testing step. Click this test step, and Zapier will generate a sample message using your trigger data and send it to the selected Slack channel. Then, open your Slack workspace and navigate to the chosen channel to confirm the notification has been posted successfully. And check all the placeholders are correctly populated and the message looks as intended. If everything is working perfectly, you will successfully set up Slack notifications for your workflow. Now, every time a new appointment is booked in Calendar, your team will receive an instant Slack message with all the necessary details. Next. Let's add another action to send a reminder email or Slack message. Let's go back to Zapier and click the plus icon to add a new action. Click this built-in tools and choose the delay tool. And for the action event, select delay 4. This option allows you to specify a delay before the next action in your workflow is triggered. Next, configure the delay settings. In this time delayed 4 fields, input the desired delay period such as 24 hours. This will ensure the next action happens 24 hours before the scheduled appointment. You can customize the delay based on your specific needs, such as 1 hour or 2 days, and the minimum delay is 1 minute. Let's use 24 hours as an example. Input the number 24 as the value, and select the hours as the unit. Then click Continue to proceed and test the action to make sure it's working. After setting up the delay, add another action to send the reminder. Depending on your preference, you can send the reminder via email or Slack. For an email reminder, click the plus icon and select your email provider, such as Gmail or Outlook. Then click Continue. And just like the previous email we've just set up, in the tool field, map the attendee's email address from the calendar trigger. Customize the email subject line such as Reminder, your appointment with Optimize AI. And for the body, I will paste an example here. Like before, you need to map each data to the correct fields here. Let me quickly uh, map this field. Then click Continue and test this step. And check the test email you received to ensure it sends correctly with all the 
placeholders populated. For Slack reminder, click Add Action and select Slack as the app. Choose the action event Send Channel Message and choose the channel for the reminder uh, notification. In the message field, let me paste a sample message here and map the relevant fields from the calendar trigger into the message and test the Slack notification and check your Slack channel message to ensure it posts successfully with all the necessary details. Once the reminder step has been tested and confirmed, your workflow now includes a built-in reminder system to ensure attendees and hosts are notified ahead of the time. Next, let's activate the entire workflow to put it into action. Click this published button and click the toggle switch here to turn on your app and name your app something clear and descriptive like appointment scheduling automation so it's easy to identify later. Now, this workflow is live and ready to streamline your scheduling process. By automating appointment confirmations, team notifications, and reminders, you are eliminating repetitive tasks, improving communication, and ensuring no one misses an important meeting. Let's explore a few additional ways you can expand this workflow and make it even more powerful. One practical use case is logging appointments directly into a Google Sheet or your CRM system. This helps you maintain a clear record of all bookings and streamline lead management. Another great idea is automating post-appointment follow-ups by sending feedback surveys. For instance, after the event concludes, you could email attendees a quick survey to collect their insights and improve future sessions. You can also this workflow to add the attendees automatically to a webinar platform or event management tool to save you the hassle of manual data entry. So I encourage you to try setting up this workflow and customize it to fit your specific needs, whether it's for meetings, webinars, or any other events. If you have any questions or unique automation ideas, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Your feedback helps inspire more tutorials like this. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share it with anyone who could benefit from Zapier's powerful automation capabilities. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.